Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Return to Monkey Island. Last time we left off we were hanging out over here at the jail and everything back on Melee and we have our new objective. New objective is to do a bunch of these things. We gotta get five gold keys as uh, Whitey told us earlier. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the locksmith. <clears throat> Hi there. Hi there. All right. So, we've looked at all of these things. Wait, what's this book? At the end of the plank. Oh. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Interesting. There's a card. Give me that. Okay. Well, what's this one say? Development of the original Monkey Island hook. I... Not a horrible toll on the team. Nine months, 22 months, 16 months. Um... Original Monkey Island. Nine months seems like a short amount of time, but it was a very long time ago. I would say 16? No. Damn. Well, I tried. Uh, clever nested boxes, comment on the parrots, fantasize about having all the golden keys. You will be mine, golden keys. Make a pun, ask about the key grinder. Oh yeah, can I give you this? Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Specially formulated alloy to withstand the corrosive nature of the sea. They're great for securing my gear on board my ship. Interesting. Okay. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Ooh, okay. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. So yeah, I remember hypothesizing at the beginning of the game that Whitey Bones may be your mother because you were like, uh, th th she follows me around and it's weird, but now I know why because you had one of the golden keys. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. Yeah. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Hmm. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I wonder if they actually destroyed it or not. Probate Order 1673832, pursuant to Statute E, Section C, Subsection IS. By order of the court, the following unclaimed personal effects have been destroyed. Golden key, fancy box. Looks official. It's got a wax seal of a parrot on it. Wax seal of a parrot. Give it to the parrot. Hey, have you seen this before? Alright, so... <clears throat> okay, we got something there. So we can go ahead and get out of there. I can answer that one trivia card now because I can see how many windows on the governor's mansion. Oh, there's a bunch of people waiting outside. All right, so what did this uh, thing actually say? How many lit windows? How many windows are lit on the governor's mansion? I mean, lit. I'm guessing that just means these two, so two? 18, 16, never mind. So it's every one of these windows. These look brighter than the other ones, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Uh, does that count as one? 11, 12, 13... Oh god, I gotta recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... And then that's 10, 11... 12... 13, 14, 15, 16. Was 16 an option? Okay, 16 was not it. Um, I'm guessing I'm not counting the ones that could be over here. Or it's considering the door windows too. Yeah, I probably considered the door windows some as well. I was thinking, oh, well, there might be more on the other side or the back side that I can't see. <clears throat> okay, well, what's going on in here? I wonder what they're waiting for. <clears throat> what are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. 
I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Okay, jeez. Hey! <clears throat> Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Wouldn't think of it. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Alrighty, sounds good to me. So what do we got here? In what room is the ground constantly swirling? <clears throat> hmm. The Monkey Island Cliff, LeChuck's Cabin, I don't think so. Lookout Point, the Scumbar Kitchen. Uh... The Monkey Island Cliff. Hmm. I don't know what exactly it means by this. What room is the ground constantly swirling? I mean, that feels like maybe a joke of, aha, uh -huh, you're doing your own alcohol? You're drunk? The Chuck's cabin, the cliff, I don't... Like, the cliff was... It overlooks the sea, right? So... The ground constantly swirling. Look out point. I, I don't know. I tried. Barely. Uh, okay. So, I can return your book to you, yeah? Oh wait, no I can't. I, oh yeah, I didn't get the book, that's right. There's another at, end of the, at the end of the plank. Okay, what's up, Carla? How you doing? <clears throat> Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Oh geez, that's unfortunate. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so... What's it for? My ship suffers some damage. It needs a kill overhaul. I want to rebuild local businesses. The melee amusement park is in terrible shape. Need to get the shipyard fixed up. There's a huge hazardous crack on Low Street. The Melee Amusement Park is in terrible shape. Melee doesn't have an amusement park. I risk my case. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. Yay, we're gonna get in the amusement park. And now I have an IOU. It's an IOU for funds to build an amusement park. Okay, that'll probably be useful for something. It's a lot of work being governor. So, can I talk to you about anything else? I don't think so, right? What else do you got? No. Nope. I should let you get back to governing. Yes. You There's should. no point in asking about more IOUs, so. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Okay, and we can't go in there. Okay, so we we got a we got a handful of things here. Cool. Now we gotta go see what's happening at the rest of the island. So we got the forest. We've already been over there. Lookout point. What's actually happening over here right now? Because the lookout's not there. Cute little guy, though. Hi there, little guy. Firewood? It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Wow. Eh, I think really? I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere. And I'm sure no one will miss it. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, uh, and ready to go. I bet that's an I bet that's an item a lot of people miss. Jeez. Who would think to just come over here, especially once you see the lookout is over there? I just did it just to be thorough. But I suppose a lot of people do it, to be thorough. Chucky's friend is called... D. There we go. Got that. Alright, we don't need to go to the docks. So, we got the museum, the shipyard. Let's go to the shipyard. Stan's building collapsed. There we go. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Oh, hell yes, we can get the toothbrush. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. Well, there we go. Good, I can get Stan his toothbrush now, and he's on Bermuda. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. Awesome. Good, we're getting items. This is important. We're getting a bunch of items. Alright, cool. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. It's old and the bristles are frayed, but it does resemble a toothbrush. I'm glad Stan got uh, his old jacket back. That creepy jacket. All right, lookout point. Uh, we've been there. So the forest and the museum are all that's left, really. 
It's important to check all these places to see how they've been affected by the earthquake, I suppose. <clears throat> Museum seems fine. Oh, now you got two. Oh, now you got two. Oh, hey, it's the flag! Look at the red parrot, look at the green parrot. Okay, now there's two parrots, though. Actually, I think I'd rather not hear about Okay, so... Coffin and ore. So yeah, this is new. We definitely want this. So... There's some very tiny writing on it. Hmm. Two parrots. Security's been beefed up. Or, I should say, parroted up. All right, what's I up? I see you've made some improvements. Yeah! The museum is now the proud owner of one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. There are only three known to exist. It's a real score. Incredibly valuable. Wow. Sure hope nobody steals that. I've doubled my security. You can't be too careful. Okay. Well, what if I feed them both crackers? I have enough. And then give them to you as well. There we go. And then I still have the, the key. Wow. That was incredibly easy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Poor museum curator. I doubled my security. Well, luckily, I have a crazy amount of crackers. All right. Did anything happen here? Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Hmm. Maps are highly recommended. There's a trivia card. Give me that. <clears throat> Chucky's friend loves her... Uh, I don't know. Boots? I I don't remember. That one's just gonna require some uh, some guessing and stuff. Okay, so there's no point in going back into the forest, I'm imagining. Alright, so we've gotten a lot of things from this. That that feels like a lot of useful stuff, the flag being one of them. It's one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. Wait, I don't even know I need this yet. Writing on it? Replica not to scale. No oh, nuts. Oh shit, really? So, get the museum's flag, get the museum's real flag. Get the flag from the fish shop. Okay, so wow, I gotta get the museum's real flag. What? That was just a replica? You keep the- you keep the- the real one hidden? Good call, but... Enter the storeroom. Huh. It's locked. Yeah, of course it is. Hmm. I don't suppose I can use the same key here. This key doesn't fit. Damn. So how do I get the... I can't see the code. Wait, maybe maybe I use the monocle on the door? There's tiny right Yes. New serial numberless lock. Damn it, no. No, serial numberless? Okay. Well, uh, get into museum storeroom. I should have known it wasn't gonna be that easy. Damn. Okay, so... We've got a- God, my inventory is so bloated right now. Um... Okay, so we can't enter it's the locked. storeroom. It's a serial keyless lock. Huh. Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should curate a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. I've got it locked in the storeroom. There's already been an attempted theft. Yeah, uh, what are you talking about, attempted theft? I, I, I successfully stole the fake one, but yeah, I guess that's what you're talking about by attempted. Any chance you'll have the real flag on display anytime soon? Oh, no. Too valuable. It definitely stays in the storeroom. Damn, how do I get into the storeroom then? Huh. Well, I guess that's- we're gonna- we're gonna have to leave that for later, I suppose. We must need something to get in there. Hmm. Maybe you can go ask- ask the, uh, locksmith about these new locks. The new lock- serial numberless lock. Hi there. Hi there. Hey. Hello again. Uh, damn. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. Okay, so I need the actual key. Damn, that sucks. So, I can't just make Hi. one. I don't suppose you, like, have the key here somehow? Nah, probably not. L let's just- let's just go. 
Alright, I think that's everything I can do here right now. So do I need both of these flags or only one? Is it giving me the option to get either the flag from the fish shop or the museum's flag? Huh. I wonder what I can even do with the fake one, if anything. Alright, let's get out of here, I guess. We can go hit up, uh... Oh, hey, wait, take another drink. What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy. Yes, this is what we need to win the burping contest. That's right, yeah, the reason I burped preemptively last time is because I drink it. I drink it before the burping contest, right? Hello. Alright, so... We have- we should have a few- hey, how about a burping contest? <laughs> no... No, I didn't mean to- Oh, I was just trying to click forward, I wasn't trying to do all this. Alright, there we go. So, take a refreshing swig. That was now do the burping hey, contest. Burping Whoop. No, contest. no, no. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... You're gonna do it, I'm- you're gonna do it, and then I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna drop a big burp because I just drank a fizzy soda. Right? We got this. Yeah, I forgot Guybrush didn't just auto-drink the- the- the, uh, the liquid last time. The soda. So I should just kill it this time, right? This is what I'm thinking. There we go. Hi. <laughs> that was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. The blowfish is yours. Yes. Now I have a blowfish, so I can burp on command. All right. Yay. Free blowfish. Not really sure what I'm going to do with this blowfish, but oh, it's blown up now and I can burp whenever I want to. Okay, weird. I don't know why I did that, but I got a new item, so... Alright, let's get to the docks and see if we can actually go anywhere interesting. Alright, here we are. So, where all can I go? Sail to an adrift ship, Terror Island, Scurvy. Interesting. What's the adrift ship? Ahoy! Ahoy! Are those tinfoil hats? Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy <laughs> a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. Uh, okay, well that's what I want, and yeah, it's not contagious. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that! My cousin's uncle's mother's best friend says it is! Oh, it's God. a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery! If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. God, it's unfortunate people are really this stupid when it comes to diseases. <laughs> Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Oh, God. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. Okay, so we gotta go get Elaine to help these stupid idiots out, because Elaine is the expert on scurvy. Alright, so let's just go to Elaine really quickly. This is cool. I'm glad we get to sail around the different islands again. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. 
We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop <laughs> it. Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Poor Wally. Poor ah, Wally. Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation's scurvy project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. Yay, limes. All right, what do we got? A trivia card for one. So this is this is the part of the game where it really opens up, jeez. What's the first rule of the melee jail? Ooh, we can go check that at some point. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet-plumed point-and-snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Point-and-snip? Oh, had me fooled. It is real. Point-and-snip. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Do I need anything snipped? Do I need anything snipped? I'm immediately like, is there anything I can use on the bird? All right, I, I tried using everything. I don't know, it just seemed like one of those things where, I don't know, I you would use an item on it for something later, but evidently not. Lime Grove. Ooh, a lighthouse. Okay, so we have about a billion lime groves, a deep lake, a waterfall, a camp. But this lime grove has like a bird at it. Okay, and this is a beach. That's what? where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Oh, how, how adorable. Oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. I got swept over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. Okay, so all I can do is go to these wow. various lime groves. Elaine sure has been busy. Yeah, what is that behind the bird? I better talk to Elaine before I steal any limes from the foundation she's- Ah! No way. I don't want to lose my hand. That is a picture of Guybrush. What if I offer you- It's not a ghost chicken. It's a seagull. What about- No. It's a seagull, huh? Seagull. What would a seagull want? Stab the seagull. No, that's mean. Toothbrush? No. Firewood? No. Okay, so seagull with picture of me. Seagull with picture. Scurvy Islands. There we go. Gotta add that to my notes. It'll probably come up later. But I need something to give to the seagull. Hmm. Alrighty, well that's that. So what happens if I go to any of these other lime groves? These okay. groves go on forever. Yeah, I can just come here and pick limes. Okay, so what's up going on with the camp? I need- I need Elaine? limes. Are you decent? Hello? Uh-huh. Oh my god, it's the stupid staple remover! I pinched a yak with it once. And then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. God, yeah, the stupid staple remover. It obviously means something to Elaine, too. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I gotta get the other part of... I, I gotta get the thing from the seagull. Hi, I'm working due east of the waterfall and due north of Driftwood Beach today. Interesting. So that's where you are. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. No, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. Yep, I remember that. So, we can't go into the tent. Okay, so you're... Yep, there's the frame. Oh my god. Yeah, I have this... Oh my god, that's what these are for? Why? Okay, so this is something I'm gonna have to use multiple times. I have a picture of Stan, and I have a picture of, like, the cook or whatever. Weird. Hi, 
I'm working due east of the waterfall and due north of Driftwood Beach today. So east of the waterfall, north of the beach. So east of waterfall, north of beach. So it's got to be like right, right here. This one. Yes. Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. Yeah, it's a good thing they didn't leave somebody behind because they can't trust each other. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, no. I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I don't know. You gotta control slash E. Or you gotta control and plus E that shit. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Okay, sales and marketing expert needed. Expert needed. God, yeah, there's a lot to keep track of here. This reminds me of like Monkey Island 2. So, I gotta ask you for some limes. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Okay, so we probably need the flyer to be fixed so we can give the limes to the the pirate crew and then they'll give it and then I can get the flag once I get on the ship. Scurvy, also known as scorbutus or hype Hypoascorbemia is a disease where symptom symptomology includes weakness. Is it these who's? I said where. Symptomology includes weakness, tiredness, and soreness in the extremities, progressing to bleeding of mucous membranes, gum disease, inability to heal, and eventually death. Yeah, scurvy's rough. Scientific research suggests that scurvy may be the result of a deficiency of ascorbic acid, which plays a critical role in collagen synthesis. A recommended treatment is to supplement levels of this essential nutrient via the consumption of limes. Please take the recommended steps for your safety. Additionally, citizens should be cognizant that hypoascorbemia as a nutritional issue would not be communicable from an in effect afflicted individual to any other individual. Neither is there any chance of contamination of companion animals or items in the... It's not going to let me read anymore, I don't think. I don't... This doesn't seem like I can scroll down. I'm trying to, like, click and drag and pressing the arrow keys, nothing, so... I guess they don't actually think you're gonna read this. Alrighty. Well, that is that. So... We're good. So we can get to the ship, and I gotta find a sales expert. Sales and marketing expert, that's just Stan. It's just Stan. Stan. Alright, um... So I could just go to Bermuda right now and just hit up Stan. Halt, ship. Uh, if, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Oh, hell, hey. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Uh, the... Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Feel this out and be completely honest. Are you a pirate? Uh, yes. Um, have you been to Plague Island? No. If you check question two, was it business pleasure? Did you, did you answer question two? Um, no. Or did yet? Yeah, no. Mm? I am carrying limes. 
Okay, okay, yeah, Oof, these are confusing. Are you now, or have you ever been a member of the pirate party? No. Did you check question four and not question six? Did you check question four and not question six? No. Boom. I will not answer 27 or 28. What's 27 or 28? You checked an odd number of questions, you checked an even number of questions, okay. Are you carrying livestock? No. Are you carrying more than 10 or less than 3 bananas? Yes. Did you not check 7? Uh, no, I did check 7. Arg. Yeah. If you check 9, did you check did not check 2? Have you not been to Merbuda during the winter? Can a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah. Have you worn the disguise or used a pseudonym? Yes. Is the answer to 13 and 19 a lie? If you checked 9, did you not check t <laughs> Oh my god, this is so confusing. <laughs> Are you not carrying limes? I am carrying limes. Uh, if you checked question 1, verify you checked question 29. Okay. Did I check question 1? Are you a pirate? Yes, I did check that I checked question 29. You ever destroyed a priceless artifact and gotten away with it? Yeah. Currently filling out a custom form, yep. I think therefore I am, yep. The North Star is in the south? Uh huh. Doesn't sound right. I can verify I've answered question two correctly. Or no, that's 11. I was thinking Roman numerals. Did you not check seven? I did not check seven. Or no, I did check seven. So yeah, I answered that correctly. I am not carrying any trivia cards. Questions two, three, five, and 11 are prime. You've checked an odd number. Check this. Don't check this. Check if you didn't check question 25. Don't check this if you didn't check question 29. I did check question 29. Arg, I got brush super with these solemnly swear or affirm that I have answered these questions truthfully. Yes. There we go. Legally binding. All right. Let's see how you've done. Well, we have a problem right off the start. We don't allow pirates on Bermuda. I'm going to have to request that you leave these waters immediately. Does it help if I'm a mighty pirate? No. Damn. Okay, so I can't be a pirate. Back so soon to proceed north. Name? Uh-huh. Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out. Okay. Um, no, we're not- we're gonna skip over most of that. And just do this. So- oh, so are we good? Right. You forgot to check that you're carrying lime. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. I didn't check most not of these. that was smart. Okay. This looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, look at that. We got through customs, so. All right, cool. This is certainly exciting. Thank you. I think so, too. All right, well, now that we're proper out here on the ocean and getting underway with our adventure, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here, so. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.